Hey guys, here we go. More mini pry bars. Uh, this is a little series I'm going to be doing. Yesterday I did Tecton. Today is Mayhew. Mayhew is in the house. They're made in USA. And any chance I get to buy USA tools, as you guys know and are aware of, I do. I always try to support USA made tools. I think we all should be doing it. Uh, let's get into this. Two piece set. Made by Mayhew. Mayhew is in the house. Two piece mini pry bar set, straight and curved. Alloy steel. Made in USA. Love seeing the flag. Model number 31092. Again, 31092. Bought it on Amazon. It was around $19 uh, plus shipping and tax. I always like seeing that. Lifetime warranty. USA. Okay. Getting that covered. Okay, the first thing. Obviously, it's a two-piece set. This is a straight one. It's got a 532nd hex shank. It's pretty stout. Can't really bend it. It's good steel. And the, uh, the grips are a hard nylon plastic that's textured. There's a little guy there wearing safety glasses. That's kind of cool. That's the model number. And that's telling you it's made in USA. Oh, I, oh God, I love seeing that. They look like they're well made. And being USA, I, I have no doubt about that. They feel decent in my hand, but then again, the grips are small. But they have a place. You're in a tight, delicate area. And you can't get nothing on a anything uh, big in there this will this will definitely uh, probably be the one you want to use if you got really large hands it's definitely going to be a, it could be a problem for you because these are small these are smaller than a than a uh, a generic Chinese one for Christ's sakes not the width but the diameter they're pretty small guys that's the straight one it's got a nice tip on it pretty sharp uh, like I said it's got the hex shank I, uh, I do wish they put a pocket clip on this you know I don't know because it's that size you know and uh, I'm gonna, I'll show you how small they <laughs> I'll put it next to a uh, tectin and you'll get the drift of this that's the tectin ones that just came out I did a video on them yesterday guys it's like night and day I absolutely love those but they got a place, you know, and they're going to get in tight areas. They just might, the only problem is the handles are small. So you got big hands or you might fight with these, but other than that, they got a place because you need all kinds of pry bars. As you start working on cars and vehicles and trucks and whatnot, you need all kinds of pry bars, all different sizes. Here's the 50 degree angled one. Mayhew is in the house. Take a gander. Wow. It's got the, a, a really textured grip. I do like the grip. I do like the grip on, on, the, on the handles. I do like the, how it, it's, it's like, a, it does feel good in my hand. It just, the handle's just too small. I don't, you know, unless it's going to be a tight, delicate area, I don't picture myself using them. Uh, a lot, a lot, you know. But they got a place because there's, sometimes you can't get a bigger, a bigger uh, tool in a tight area. And they're being made in USA. I, I had to pick them up. I just had to pick them up. And I'm doing this mini series, so uh, Mayhew's got to be in there. Mayhew makes some incredible. When you get to the bigger pry bars, they make some incredible uh, pry bars. Some of the best, I think, strictly my opinion. There's all kinds of names out there. Uh, Wildly's another name is pretty good. Lang. Langley or Lang? I think it's Lang. There's a bunch of good names out there. Um, but this is my take on it. It's not much money. You want some smaller mini pry bars. They definitely could fit the bill. And being made in USA, I don't see a problem why you wouldn't want to pick them up. You know, throw them in your toolbox and uh, go from there. But, boy, they should have put a pocket clip on there. If they had put a pocket clip on there, it would have been nice, you know. I like I like a pocket, 
a pocket clip on the smaller ones. Um, but like I said, at that, and there's, the handles are small. Look at that Tekka next to it. I did a video on that yesterday, and uh, they got some good feedback. You guys love, you guys, a lot of people like liked it, liked it. I can see why. They hit a home run with that. But Mayhew, being made in USA, they got a nice product. Um, I like to support USA made tools, like I said, and they got a, they got a place in my toolbox because there's going to be a time where I can't get anything bigger in it, and this is going to fit the bill. Or if a dash or you got an O-ring, O-ring or something in a tight spot or trying to take something off, like a whatever. So they got a place. Um, but if you've got large hands, you might want to stay away from them. That's the only thing. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. I always get back to you guys. Hey, tomorrow I'll show another one, another brand, maybe one more, then, then we'll do a shootout. Okay, guys, channel's doing good, all because you guys. Really appreciate it. Stay tuned. Have a great weekend.